A big welcome to the fifth and final day of in our series on fighting fear and anxiety with the promises of God, coming to you from Darlinghurst, St Mary's Cathedral and Hyde Park. So we're just walking through the suburb of Darlinghurst at the moment. I really like this suburb because there's lots of nice little quirky bars and restaurants and uh, all around it you've got um, lots going on. You've got Hyde Park to the north and you've got William Street that goes up to King's Cross uh, on the east. On the west um, you've got Oxford Street that goes towards Centennial Park and then you've got Paddington to the south. So it's a nice little quiet suburb with lots to do. A big welcome to St Mary's Cathedral. So the cathedral is of the Roman Catholic Archdiocese of Sydney and the seat of the Archbishop of Sydney, the Most Reverend Anthony Fisher OP. The first stone, or the first cathedral, was built in 1821. It was burnt down in 1865 and the first stone of the present cathedral was built in 18 or laid in 1868. The uh, design is geometric decorator style of Gothic Revival, which evolved around the 13th century. The cathedral is 170 metres in length, the nave is 25 metres wide, and the height is 23 metres, and the central tower rises to 46 metres. There's two spires, and the construction material is Sydney sandstone, Oara Mara stone, marble, Ars alabaster, Moruya granite, Okay, a big welcome to the final day of the devotional on fighting fear and anxiety with the promises of God. Coming to you from St Mary's Cathedral here in uh, beautiful Sydney. So today's devotional is titled, When You Need God's Protection and Care. Often this world can be a scary place. The truth is, it's easy to say we trust God, yet these very words can be hard to actually live out. When we truly find rest and hope in him alone, nothing has the power to shake us. We stand on firm ground, safe territory. We're protected, surrounded and held secure. But it's a choice we must make every day to dwell in the safe place. One of the biggest fears many of us may find ourselves battling is that something bad will happen to our loved ones. Reality is we can't always be with them, nor can we protect them from all harm that may come their way but we can find great power through prayer and God's word. They are weapons of warfare over darkness and God is faithful to work on behalf of his children. He is with us and our loved ones always, and he is a mighty God. We can trust his protection and care to constantly surround our lives and those we love. He never promises us this life will be easy. In fact, his word often says that we may face difficult battles but he also reminds us over and over that he will be near us in it all and we know he will hold us secure prayer dear god thank you for your presence with us thank you for your almighty shadow we praise you for your protection and care over our lives and over our loved ones you surround us with a shield even when we're not aware Thank you that you go before us and cover us from behind and that you are in our midst and our future is secure in the place you're preparing for us. Your words bring such hope and comfort in the times we've struggled with fear and anxious thoughts. Remind us again of your great strength today. We may see glimpses of your glory and blessing as we follow after you. May we continually reflect your light and peace and hope to a world that so desperately needs your presence and healing for victory and salvation are found in your, you alone. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for joining us in this five-day plan praying God's promises over our fears and anxieties. 
May his peace and grace abound to you more and more as you speak to follow him today and every day. He is with you all my friends. You are never alone. Call on his name each morning. Read his words of hope and healing and keep moving forward in his great power and strength. Psalms 91, Assurances of God's Protection. You who live in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. Will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. For he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the de deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his pinions. I don't know what that means. <laughs> and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and buckler. You will not fear the terror of the night or the arrow that flies by, or the pestilence that stalks in darkness, or the destruction that wastes in noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, 10,000 at your right hand, so that it will not come near you. You only look with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. And it goes on and on and on. Fantastic. Okay, thank you very much. God bless you. And bye. Growing up in the UK, heaps of old buildings, old church buildings and lots of traditions. So I kind of got a bit, not fed up of it, but kind of resented it all a bit. Because to me, it just associated with being a, a kid at church, having to sit still and not being able to just run wild, I guess. As I've got older, I've sort of learned to appreciate all these traditions a lot more and the architecture. And somebody, I was in one of my lectures the other day, it was about the Eastern Orthodox Church. And the lecturer was saying that we're quick to say to them, oh, your paintings are an idol. And they say back to us, well, you're worse your music or your pastors are idols. And then apparently this lady said back, well, no, it's not, it's just, our form of worship and then the Eastern Orthodox person said back yeah well the paintings are just our form of worship so I thought it was a really interesting insight and it shifted my perspective a bit and I do really appreciate the work that goes into all these beautiful old buildings and the paintings and the literature and yeah that's just Welcome to the beautiful Hyde Park and the Archibald Memorial Fountain. Just coming into view is the Sydney Tower. It's the largest structure in Sydney, standing at 310 metres, 
And at the bottom you have Westfield Shopping Centre and at the top you've got a revolving restaurant, a cinema and you can pay money to walk around the outside. walking back now and I just thought I'd get in the background these trees so these I don't know what they are really but uh, I guess you'd call them trees but they're, they're pretty cool I, I, I do love how tropical most parts of Australia is it's just so different to the UK where I'm from it turned out to be a beautiful day it was raining earlier 